Welcome to another 3D Printing 101 here on Maker's Muse. So everyone's first 3D print is usually the demo file the printer comes with in the software or on the SD card. Next we invariably move to Thingiverse to find something to print. But what if I told you Thingiverse was only one of tons of free 3D printing resources? Yep, in this video I'll go through 10 places you can download files for 3D printing. Some require a login, but all of them contain free content. So let's get into it! Number one, well, Thingiverse, duh. Thingiverse is without a doubt the biggest repository of free online printable files. However, because of this, it's also bloated with terrible, unprintable files no one would ever want. This fact, combined with a fairly basic search engine, means that printing designs from Thingiverse can be a bit of a hit or miss affair. Even featured designs on Thingiverse can have mesh issues, and I highly recommend running any Thingiverse file through a file repair program like Netfab Basic to see if it needs fixing. A pro tip is to see if one, the person who uploaded the file has actually printed it and took a photo, and two, to see if anyone else has actually successfully printed it and similarly put up a photo. If not, if you're just looking at a raw mesh, then you're definitely rolling the dice in terms of if it's printable or not. My Mini Factory, my personal favorite at the moment, think of My Mini Factory as Thingiverse curated. Their thing is 100% printable files, and so far I haven't been let down. There's some awesome content here, including the 3D scans from the Scan the World initiative, like this amazing Triceratops skull I printed in 3D Fuel Algae PLA. Oh, and a review of this stuff is coming really shortly. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I mean, it's freaking algae plastic. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, moving on. Pin shape. Similar to Thingiverse, but in my opinion, the quality of uploads are a little bit better and less random. Jay Wall from Print That Thing is the featured designer there at the moment, and if you haven't checked out his channel, you 100% need to. I mean, he designed armor for his cat, and he's a top bloke. By the way, both My Mini Factory and Pin Shape run regular 3D design contests, so if you want to win some awesome 3D printing loot, be sure to check them out. Autodesk's 123D Gallery, perhaps overlooked by many, Autodesk's approach to 3D printing apps means they're free in return for uploading to a public gallery. Some of these files may need work to become printable, but it's definitely worth including in your search. You can find all manner of crazy things here, like, would you ever want to 3D print a zucchini? No? Well, here you go anyway. <laughs> Yobi3D and Yegi are two similar sounding websites that do similar things. These are both 3D content search engines, which is a pretty cool idea if you ask me. So what you can do is use these engines to search a huge range of sites for 3D content in one place, and even view the results in 3D right in your browser. Yegi seems to be mainly restricted to 3D printable files, however Yobi 3D is a little bit different. Many of the files you'll find through Yobi 3D are created for the 3D animation and rendering market instead of 3D printing. Because of this, most will need extensive conversion and repairs before you can even consider 3D printing them, but nothing in afternoon with Mesh Mixer can't fix. Also, for you parents and guardians, there is no form of safe search here, and the linked sites can sometimes be a little bit sketchy, so keep it in mind some content these search engines may pick up may not be suitable for minors. You have been warned. CG Trader. I mentioned CG Trader in my 3D printing to make money video some months ago, and this is because CG Trader is a 3D content marketplace. Much of the content is actually paid, and that's fair enough because it's a professional level site and it's used in industry. However, there's also plenty of free content, including a dedicated 3D printing category that's definitely worth checking out. GrabCAD, Engineers Unite, are you sick of drawing every nut, bolt, motor, bearing again and again? You probably have folders of these parts you use constantly, right? Well, GrabCAD is a community with this idea at heart. I use it all the time to find 3D files of common components for my CAD work, like you know, NEMA 17 stepper motors and things like that. It's also a great place to look for 3D printable content. Now, it's worth keeping in mind, many of the uploads won't be in STL format. They'll be in something like an, a .igis or a .step or even native SOLIDWORKS format. But you can easily convert these using Onshape by importing them in and exporting again as an STL file for 3D printing, which is pretty handy. Why would you ever buy gears again if you can just 3D print them, right? That's probably a topic for another video though. Lastly in this list we have the Smithsonian Institute, a digitized museum. The Smithsonian is a pioneer of making 3D scan data of artifacts available for free to anyone in the world, which is a really, really nice idea. You can take a virtual tour of exhibits and while not everything on the website is 3D printable or downloadable for 3D printing, a vast quantity are. 
This is a fantastic resource for teachers and I highly recommend checking it out. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video of 3D printing websites handy. There's so many more out there, but these are my top 10, the ones I use all the time. Again, keep in mind that you do need to log in for most of them, but a lot of the content is free to download. There is some paid stuff, but also loads of awesome free stuff. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more 3D printing content in future, you know, hey, feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a huge amount. I love making content for you guys, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later.